Welcome to day 20 of the 100 day mindfulness challenge. My name is Miss Steer and today we are going to be exploring the weather in our mind. Today is Friday, that is the T in beast mode. That is our day to consider thoughts. Just a reminder that when we talk about the internal weather in our body or mind, we're really thinking about mood and emotions and feelings. And as I said on Tuesday, it can be quite difficult sometimes to actually know what you are feeling and to pinpoint the exact emotion that you are experiencing because often there can be lots of different signs and sensations and many emotions feel very similar to others. And so rather than trying to think really hard about the exact emotion that you're experiencing, you might find it easier to just describe what is going on with you in terms of sunshine or blue skies or fogginess or cloud or what you know whatever it is whatever kind of weather you think is happening for you right now today i want to repeat the free thinking task that we did in week 2 and i want us to just bring a little bit more curiosity to our thoughts and to just get a little bit more space between us and our thoughts so that we can get a, a general idea a general picture of what the weather is like in there right now. Let's get going. So let's make sure that we're nice and comfortable. If you wish to, you can bring your shoulders up to your ears and then let them drop. Make sure that you are upright and awake, but also comfortable and relaxed at the same time. And when you are ready, allow your eyes to close. And just allow the thoughts to come to you. Notice what kinds of thoughts they are. If you could describe these thoughts in terms of weather, what kind of weather would this be? Is the sunshine, clouds, rain, fog, blue skies? Is there a mixture of lots of different things? Just notice what's there. And let's take a deep breath in through our nose and out through our mouth. And in through our nose and out through our mouth. And in through our nose, shoulders up towards the ears and sigh out. And when you're ready, gently let your eyes open and come back into the room. What was that like for you? What did you notice? If you had to describe your thoughts today in terms of weather, what would you say? For, for me today, there was quite a bit of blue sky and stillness. My mind wasn't racing and I feel, I don't feel distracted, but there's some fog creeping in. Uh, there's definitely some, some tiredness for me today, I think, and maybe a little bit of grouchiness as well. And I think I would describe that as fog. That That's how it felt in my mind today, like a, a, a very still fog, but a fog all the same. 
again, this isn't about changing it. It's just about noticing what's going on in there. If you really want to get something out of this, take some pause time now and explain to somebody nearby if you are comfortable doing this, what kind of whether you noticed, what you felt was there and just try and really explain to somebody what was going on for you in your mind and what, what you noticed. If there's nobody nearby, if you're doing this on your own, take some thinking time, jot down some notes, whatever you do, just reflect on what just happened because you're going to get so much more out of it if you do that. Take some pause time now. Hopefully you're back having thought a little bit more about what is actually happening in your mind. So often we are unaware of what is happening in our mind and our thoughts, our thoughts direct the way that we think, the way that we feel, the way that we speak, the things we do, the things we don't do. Those thoughts are incredibly powerful in driving our behaviour throughout the day and driving the way that we feel and, and how much we get out of the present moment and out of each day overall. So learning to tune into those thoughts and become more aware of what's going on can be incredibly useful. And with that said, your day 20 challenge is to tune in to those thoughts again later today and hopefully over the weekend as well. And just ask yourself that question, what is the weather in my mind right now? If you simply do that, then you will be building up some great habits that will help you to cope with this strange world situation that we're in right now, but also much further beyond that. You can combine this with the free thinking that we just did, or you can try the thoughts pop that we did as well. But again, if you just get curious as to what the weather in your mind is like at any given moment, that is going to really help. Of course, it is the weekend and you are welcome to try any of the things that we've been doing relating to breath, emotions, actions, senses, thoughts, beast mode. <laughs> Anything that you can do is going to help build up those attention muscles and it's going to get you used to being in the present moment a little bit more, which is fantastic. If there's any questions, anything you're struggling with, anything you'd like to share, whatever it is, give an adult a nudge and they can share to Twitter, Facebook or Instagram. My details are on the screen. Thank you so much for joining me today. I wish you a fantastic weekend with lots of moments in the present and I will see you on Monday for week five.